Hey guys, Jimmy Smo here with another squad guide. Today we are going to go over how to throw grenades, smokes, and how to use different kinds of smoke grenades in battle. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, consider hitting the like button and leave a comment on what you like to see next. Thank you. Okay, so let's first go over the fragmentation grenades. Uh, they all work the exact same on all factions. Um, so the way you want to do overhand is by throwing with the tip of your thumb. And that will get it to where it needs to go. Um, if you generally don't want to use underhand, but if you have to, you want to use it under 10 meters. So if you're throwing it inside of a building, you want to throw it with that tip of your pinky. You just toss it in and it will go right on in um, so yeah anything under 10 meters you want to throw at the tip of your pinky that's coming back uh oh <laughs> that's generally why you don't want to throw with uh, uh, <laughs> under 10 meters so yeah uh, tip your thumb tip your pinky it's all you gotta remember and uh oh and you'll hit your target every time so yeah so now we'll go over the smoke grenades. Um, there are two different types of smoke grenades in this game. First, we'll go over the M18 smoke grenades. Uh, they are used by the US and Canadian and British, I believe. Um, so you want to use the exact same thing, tip of your thumb. Except, ha however, you'll notice it only comes out one side of the um grenade uh it comes out the opposite side of the pin or generally it'll come out the right side unless it bounces off something uh so you just got to keep that in mind about these smoke grenades um however you can use them and you can block quite a bit of a way as long as you uh just keep that in mind Okay, so now we're going to go over the second smoke, uh, well, smoke grenade. It is RDG2 smoke grenade. Um, these, they spew out both sides of the smoke grenade. Um, again, unless it bounces off something, they are going to go out left and right. Um, these, so these can be used in all sorts of, uh, you don't really have to think about the placement. You just generally want to throw it right in the middle of where you want it to go. Um... So yeah, uh, let's go over a couple of battle tips for the smoke grenades. Um, so with uh, the RDG2 smoke grenades, you generally want to throw it in the middle of wherever you're going. If it's a passageway that you want to cross, underhand it, and it will cover that entire passageway. Um, however, you generally want to throw it at the enemy. You never want to smoke yourself. Um, so say you do want to cross this... Uh, I would throw it a little bit further so it gives you a little bit more vision um however you generally want to smoke uh your enemy you do not want to smoke yourself um when using the m18 you want to do the exact same thing except of course you want to aim it on the left side of uh um wherever you want to cross uh so say if it's these haskell walls you want to throw it in this corner um for the M18 smoke grenades, and they will cover this entire passage. Uh, again, you want to throw it at the enemy, and you want to chain them in a line, like 15 feet, 15 meters uh, apart from each other, and that's how you'll cover a substantial amount of area. I just hopped over back over to the US. I just wanted to show you how to chain uh, the M18 smoke grenades properly. Um, so you just want to throw them, Oop. Uh, that's okay, that one will still work. You just want to throw them, you know, 15, 10, 15 meters apart from each other. And they take about 10, 15 seconds to fully billow up. And that will provide you decent cover if you're crossing any open ground. It's better than no cover. Um, remember, they can't shoot what they can't see, so try to smoke the enemy. So that will be all for this little guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what else you would like to see. Check out my Grenadier guide for how to use the grenade launcher. 
Like and subscribe for more content. Thank you.